Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be pairing a pair of real Ray-Ban Clubmasters that I bought from the Sunglass Hut for $150 against a pair of Ray-Ban Clubmasters that I bought from eBay for only $54. Okay, so first off, the pair to the left is going to be our Sunglass Hut pair, and then the pair here to the right is going to be our eBay pair. So first off, let's take a look at the logo here on the eBay pair, and here we can see it definitely looks pretty nice. Now let's bring in the Sunglass Hut pair and compare. So the Sunglass Hut pair is going to be the one on the top, and eBay is going to be here on the bottom. And first, we can see that the eBay logo is going to be much more faded than the uh, Sunglass Hut logo. It's just not going to look really as good, and this logo is just going to stand out at you a lot more on the Sunglass Hut pair. That's probably because Ray-Ban cares a lot about their trademark where potentially a fake copy is not going to care so much so they just barely have it on there. Okay, so let's put the sunglass hat pair down here and let's take a look at the stickers on the side of the box of the eBay pair. So here's what the sticker looks like. It looks a little bit off. Um, now let's bring in the sunglass hat pair and here on the sunglass hat pair we can see that this is actually what a real logo is supposed to look like. It's going to have this little outer edge here on the real sunglasses and on the eBay it doesn't have that so that's probably not a very good sign for the eBay sunglasses. Well let's actually just open up the box of the eBay pair and see what's inside. So it looks like we have a black Ray-Ban case. This case does feel really good. It's going to have a nice little etched Ray-Ban logo here. And it is a very, very nice case. And it seems like a lot of the eBay sunglasses or fake sunglasses potentially have really good cases now. So it's almost hard to tell the difference with the case. Again, here's the logo here on the eBay pair. And uh, let's just pop up the top. And we can see that it's a nice little smooth button here on the top of the button and then here we can see a more ribbed texture here on the bottom. Now let's open up the top here and this is what we have in our case. So first thing is going to be our little icons and this feels a little bit cardboardy like a lot of fake ones do. Put that over to the side and then next we can see our Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and then attached to it's just going to be another little Ray-Ban catalog. Now let's actually take a look at these sunglasses themselves and they're going to be in this little packet. I've got a lot of information about these packets. It seems like real Ray-Bans are shipped with these packets, but the Sunglass Hut actually pulls these packets out before they sell them. I'm not sure if that is entirely true and I'm not sure if that's entirely fake. So basically that means that this little plastic protective case doesn't necessarily mean that it's fake, but usually we see it on a lot of fake. So take that with a grain of salt. Let's just open up this little bag and here we can see the sunglasses themselves. They're going to have this little protective coating and wow, as soon as I open up this hinge, it does not feel good. It does not feel good at all. Um, let's actually just take this uh, protective wrapper off here that was protecting the lenses and then there's a little protector here on the sides. So let's take a look at the front of these glasses and see how they look. And they seem to be pretty decent. It seems like I got the dimensions uh, pretty much right on the eBay pair. They don't seem to be too bad, but these hinges, man, these hinges just feel absolutely terrible. This one's loose, and then this one's stiff. And if you guys can actually hear that here, you can hear a lot like just like plasticky sounds. Um, so that's definitely not a good sign at all. So now let's take a look at the Sunglass Hut pair box. And let's just pop up the top and see uh, what we have in here. And it seems like we have a tan case. Of course, the Sunglass Hut case does feel really good. We're gonna see the little stamp here, which looks really nice. And then we can see the etched logo. And then again, the stitching here looks really good. This is definitely a real case. Uh, again, the button's gonna be smooth here at the top and then ribbed here on the bottom. And then popping up the top of sunglasses, we can actually just see there's a lot less going on here. So first we can see our little Ray-Ban cleaning cloth right here. And then next we can see our Ray-Ban icons. And this icons does feel much more right than the uh, fake pair. And now we can actually see the Ray-Bans themselves. So here we can see the Ray-Ban Clubmasters themselves. And we can see there's only one little plastic covering here on the edges. And these hinges feel absolutely amazing. Right out of the box, these hinges feel really good when opening up and when closing them. Both are going to be a little bit looser than the other pair, uh, but they're going to feel really good and very premium, and both are going to be the same consistency. So now that we have both sunglasses out, we're gonna just get a better angle. Okay, so now we have a new angle. The pair here to the left is going to be the sunglass hat pair, and then the pair here to the right is going to be our eBay pair. So here we can see there's not going to be a huge difference as far as these two frames go. I think the eBay pair might be a little bit higher 
and it looks just a tiny bit off as far as all the dimensions go, but it does look very, very similar, much more similar than the Aviators or the Wayfarers did when comparing them side to side. So again, uh, the Sunglass Hut pair is going to be the pair to the left, and then the eBay pair is the pair to the right. We can see that the eBay pair does have the little Ray-Ban sticker, and the Sunglass Hut again doesn't, which is kind of weird. But the sticker definitely doesn't seem to be legit here on the eBay pair. So let's actually move these sunglasses uh, so we can get another angle here. And here we can see that the eBay pair is going to be a little bit higher again than the sunglass hat pairs. So if you take a look at the temples here, we can see that it's much higher here on the eBay pair. But now we're going to break out the macro lens and we're going to get really up close and personal with these two sunglasses to help you guys get a really good idea of the key differences. Because usually the biggest differences between a real and a fake pair of sunglasses is going to be the close up, very small details. Okay, so here we can see the little metal accents here on the uh, sunglass hut pair and then here on the eBay pair and here in the eBay pair we can see these metal accents are going to look a little bit too um, angular they're gonna look a little bit too sharp or they're gonna be just a little bit smoother here on the sunglass hut pair so that is the difference there next we're going to take a look at the actual Ray-Ban logos the painted on logos here on both the sunglasses. So here's the painted on Ray-Ban logo on the sunglass hut pair and we can see the logo looks very very nice it's going to look really good and again this is going to be on the sunglass hat pair now let's bring in the ebay pair and here on the ebay pair we can see the painted on ray-ban logo and here on the ebay pair it actually almost looks too good it almost looks too perfect it, it just looks almost fake because it's it's so you know accurate with the other one just a little bit smoother if you will uh, but the logo looks really really good and and I've, I've seen real logos that look like this too uh, really hard to tell and it looks pretty good honestly I'm, I'm actually really impressed about this uh, painted on Ray-Ban logo so next let's take a look at the etched RB logo on the authentic pair okay so here's the etched RB logo on the authentic Ray-Ban Clubmasters from the sunglass side and you can see it looks very very good it's very eligible and you can see it with the naked eye very very well and of course under the macro lens it's going to look absolutely fantastic now it's take a look at the eBay pair and let's actually compare it. So here is the eBay pair and here we can see the logo is much more faint. It's very, very, very small. It's not going to be nearly as thick and you're just going to barely be able to read it even under the macro lens. Uh, again, the magnification is going to be the exact same on both these shots, but just so much harder to see and it's going to look very, very, very small where on the real it's going to look nice and, you know, fat. But, but, but again, these fakes do have the same RB logo. It's just going to look a little bit worse. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at this upper bridge and this is going to be on the real sunglass hat pair and we can see it looks really good and, and very nice. I'll uh, try to focus it a little bit better here and we can see how the logo is going to look. It's going to look very nice. It's going to be very subtle with the little design here on the edges, but again, it's going to look really good. Now let's take a look at the eBay pair. And here on the eBay pair, we can see it doesn't look nearly as good. It's going to look a little bit more sloppy. And here we can see the coating on the actual gold frames is going to be much more reflective and much more shiny and look just a lot worse uh, here on the eBay pair. So that's going to be a quite a big difference. Take a look at the side here and we can see the plating is just, it's just a lot worse here on the eBay pair. Okay, so now let's take a look at the inside of the mill bridge. And here we can see 4921, that's going to stand for our lens size and our bridge width. And here we can see it looks really good here on the authentic pair. Now let's bring in the eBay pair. And here on the eBay pair, we can see it doesn't look quite nearly as good. Again, the finish isn't going to be the same. It's gonna look a lot worse. And then we can also see that just the uh, actual numbers don't look quite as good here on the fake. They definitely look dramatically different. Okay, so now let's take a look at the really nice all metal hinges. And again, this is going to be on the real pair, the sunglass hat pair. And we can see that the metal hinge looks really good and very nice. And now let's take a look at the eBay pair. And here we can see on the eBay pair that the hinge again looks really good. They look very similar. I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison here for you guys to take a look. But these hinges look very similar on both these sunglasses. And it's gonna be really hard to tell a difference with the human eye. But like I said, the eBay pair is going to feel much worse when just opening up and closing them than the real pair is going to. Okay, so now we have the sunglass hat pair and we can see the painted on information here in the inner left temple of sunglasses. It's gonna say RB3016 Clubmaster. Then it's gonna give us some more information with our lens size and our bridge width. And again, this is going to on the real pair. Now let's bring in the eBay pair. And here we can see on the eBay pair that the Clubmaster font doesn't look nearly as good. It's going to be a little bit smaller and just not going to look nearly as good. It definitely looks kind of clumped together and, and definitely more fake than, it, of course, the real pair. But it's basically going to have all the same information right here and everything's going to look very similar. It just the Clubmaster font looks a little bit off from the real font. 
Okay, so now we switch to the inner right temple of the Rio sunglasses. So it's going to be the sunglass hot pair. And it says Ray-Ban tea made in China. And these sunglasses are made in China. Don't be afraid. Unfortunately, Ray-Ban is making real sunglasses in China. And here on the fake eBay pair, we can again see a Ray-Ban logo. The logo is not going to look quite as good as it is going to on the real pair. It's going to say made in Italy and it's going to say be there. And that is going to be the main differences between both the sunglasses. Okay, so here is a look at the inside of the metal hinge. And again, the reel is gonna be here to the left and the fake is going to be here to the right. And again, we can see the real difference between these hinges, but they're going to be very similar. We can see here that on the real pair, the little screw is gonna stick out a little bit more than here on the fake pair. And then here we can just see that the hinge is just going to be built a lot better here on the real pair than it is going to on the fake. And again, this is the difference between the real and the fake. The fake is here to the left and the real is here to the right. Okay, so that's about it for all the differences between the real and the fake fake Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Honestly, these fake Clubmasters are really, really good, and it's getting really hard to tell the difference between real and fake sunglasses, other than, I guess, just the build quality. If you feel a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, you know how good they feel, and the fake ones just feel terrible. They, they really just don't feel good at all, and that's going to be basically the biggest difference to tell a real from a fake. Of course, keep in mind that it is illegal to own fake Ray-Ban sunglasses, so I'm getting these out and I'm returning them to eBay as soon as possible. But to quickly recap, the biggest differences that we can actually see is going to be the etched RB logo here in the left lens, and uh, it's gonna be much more thinner here on the fake. And also this Ray-Ban sticker is completely fake. It's gonna be much more uh, metal looking on the real. This is just completely fake. And then of course the box that the eBay sunglasses shipped in was absolutely terrible and definitely very fake. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss any new videos that are released to this YouTube channel just like this one. But again, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.